I'm Terry Oracle, and this is a book review. The Horry Textbook by John Frawley, originally printed in 2005, reprinted 2014. So, uh, it's difficult to find a book like this. By the way, this cost me $29 on Amazon. So, it's difficult to find a good book on this type of astrology. You have, basically, from what I've seen, two. One is Kent's book, which is amazing, but it's 70 bucks. But this one is only $29, and it runs in about 300-ish pages, and it's very clear. The best part about this book is it's like talking to someone. It's like having a conversation. The prose is super easy to read. He breaks things down in nice, logical steps. You move to the next step before you get to the larger step. So it's nice. So sort of introduction of where's the cat. So he does a simple reading. And again, very easy to follow along. The prose is like uh, just talking to someone. It's super, super easy to read. So uh, as with all Hori stuff, we have, it's, it's fairly simple. So the first part is basically all the rules, right? Your dignities, the houses, planets, signs, receptions, aspect, etc. So it only covers about 150 pages. And in Ken's book, you have something similar to where the first part just covers all the rules. So unfortunately, you need to know the rules really well to just blow through uh, readings and whatnot, but it, it's going to take some time and a lot of practice. But the actual the actual rules are fairly straightforward, and you have a lot of these that will repeat in some of the old school astrology books, Hellenistic, uh, ancient, things like that, with the dignities and essential dignities and all that other stuff. Luckily, most uh, computer programs will figure out dignities for you. There's also a great website, link in the description, that will figure out not only essential but accidental dignities as well. So you don't really have to worry about uh, being able to spot those really fast. Of course, being able to do it is nice, but you don't have to worry about that stuff. So he covers the houses, planets, signs, and now he goes into the dignities. Now he's pretty pretty good with the dignities, covers all the different types, and he rates them. So what is a dignity? That's basically you're, you're grading a planet. So, you know, you're, you're getting a planet and you're sort of grading it as far as an A+, plus, a, a B, a C, a D, or F, or whatever, based upon all the dignities. And then the lesser accidental dignities as well. So another thing that you have to do in this type of astrology is you have to expand the house meanings. So you can't just go in, for example, with basic meanings of a house that you would get from an ancient astrology, for example. You have to expand that because this covers questions like, where are my car keys? And there's really no house for car keys or behind the toilet, right? Or something like this. So that's one of those things to where you have to expand the definition of the houses. And he does a great job on that in the back section where he actually breaks down questions for each house. So you have second house questions, third house questions, etc. So he does a great job with that. Now the third part with any book of this type is examples. You need a lot of examples. He doesn't have that many. I guess that's my only knock against the book. I wish there were more examples. He did publish another book along with several of other people that have, I think, a hundred or so examples. But if you really want examples, you probably want to lean towards Kent's book. Kent's book has 124 examples. This doesn't have but very few. It does have quite a bit of, you know, sort of theoretical examples, but it doesn't have a lot of examples to where you have chart and then step by step for why you came to this conclusion. So, Again, there's some in here, but it's not clearly not 124. So if you want the examples, you have to sort of get his other book, which is available on Kindle for, I think, 10 bucks or something. It's also on Kindle Unlimited. So theoretically, you could get a Kindle Unlimited free trial, read all of the examples, and just sort of, you know, go with that, I guess. But it would be nice if, if we had examples in here. So the next section is the planets. So it talks about the different planets and the rating systems and things like that. It talks about all sorts of different rules 
in regard to dignities, planets, and such, which is handy, and this is extremely detailed within the context of the houses, which is great. Um, again, essential dignity, link in the description to a website that will give you all of them. So you don't have to just memorize all of these or know how to do all of these. Of course, it's going to be quick. Then you have your standard, you know, dignity chart. Um, let's see. And then he does explain everything in great detail and with good detail as well, uh, because a lot of people just gloss over things, but he makes sure to explain every minor little thing the you know the root of what a dignity is how to figure out dignities what to do with them how to rate the planets and he has like a useful tip section which again excellent excellent way to do things so if you have your useful tips here and frequently he'll have bolded text and he'll have a, a checklist thing so have a checklist not only of accidental but you know of the entire the entire thing and then he talks about you know the usual things you're going to run into which is the moon being in a void spot uh, the significance in a moon aspects and how to do it besiegement which you're going to get to with ancient astrology stuff under the sunbeams opposition to the sun and combustion uh, etc so then he talks about exaltation now this one thing a computer program can figure this out and a website can figure this out. However, you got to memorize exaltations and sign rulership, domiciles, and things like that because you want to do mutual receptions, which computer programs don't. Well, I haven't seen one that does that, but um, most applications, especially when you start doing fast forwarding houses, so you want the the seventh house's second house or something like that's so the eighth house once you start doing that the 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 computer apps the websites they're off the board they, they're not going to do mutual receptions for fast forwarded houses you know forwarded houses so you got to memorize you got to memorize domiciles exaltations and things like this you have to memorize as well um, male and female hot and cold you know wet and dry etc in order to do exhaustive analysis. If you just want to do a yes or no, maybe not. But, but if you want to do exhaustive analysis where you see these people that just go in at extreme detail, you have to know. You have to know the male, female. You have to know the hot, cold. You have to know fixed, mutable. You have to know the detriment, the fall, which is which is easy because it's opposite of domicile and and uh, exaltation but whatever mutual receptions to where you know this sign loves this sign and they're both in the, each other's domicile or both each other's um, exaltation whatever so receptions is a great chapter aspects so he talks about aspects and that's going to be a big part of any of the uh, any analysis of a chart because if you look on YouTube and there's like a two-hour lecture on how to do this link in the description that he that guy talks about you just want a yes or no you look at aspects and have a nice day and you're done so his method is is super simple but this goes into much more detail which is great which of course what you need when you look into something like this uh i believe it's called anticia uh, this is covered in a couple of software apps as well if you want to see that this is interesting i had not seen this before uh and i've read a bunch of stuff but Hey, it was good to learn it. It was good to learn it. Some computer apps will figure this out for you. Uh, one of those is, uh, I forgot the name of it. Okay, so uh, next you got the fixed stars, which are going to be, uh, by the way, I tried to get fixed stars up in uh, Solar Fire version 9, and it deleted them. It wouldn't let me do it. So Regulus, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'm sure there's some app somewhere that'll do it. Now you come to... Uh, Arabic parts, which is going to be your part of fortune, part of marriage, part of eros, etc., and how those come into play, which is great. I had not seen that. Now, timing. So, someone asks you, okay, I'm going to find my car keys or my cat that ran away is going to come back, but when? So, very cool section on timing. Very nice section on timing. I love this 
section as well. So now it talks about the question, who is asking it? So now you sort of get into the fast forwarding houses, right? So if the seventh house is uh, the other person and you talk about the other person's money, money's second house, so you have to go to, well, one from the uh, seventh house, the so second house from the seventh, talks about all that. And you'll see that constantly. If you get on YouTube and someone is doing this reading, they'll constantly be doing that. So you have to know that. Okay, so now we get into the houses. So he talks about things. Why would I go to the second house or the third house for a particular question? And he answers that. And then he talks about, obviously, a third house, you know, the partner's money, seventh house, the second house of the seventh house. So you have to, you have to know that. I mean, at a minimum, you have to be able to, I would get a website or a program that would do all the dignities for me and lay them out. And then you're going to have to do hot, cold, mephema, anything that's not laid out for you, you're going to have to figure out. And you're going to have to sort of spot that as well on the chart. So again, great that he goes into extreme detail on all of the houses and their meanings and their importance as well. And he has a lot of sort of sample questions and then sort of a quick guide to where to go to solve them, right? So, but again, man, I really wish he would have had more examples with like, here's the chart. And let me tell you from start to finish how I came to this conclusion. I love that. But he gives you shortcuts and he tells you, you know, you're going to have to go to a fast forwarded ninth house from the seventh house or, or whatever. So again, we have ninth house, travel stuff, 10th house, um, career, 11th house, friends and visas and stuff like this. And then 12th house, you know, evil, et cetera, et cetera. And then at the end, he talks about uh, house meanings. And again, he would sort of lumps in all the different rules that you'd want to go to any particular house. But again, I, I can't stress enough at just how easy this is to read. I mean, this is one of those to where you can just sit back after work and it's not going to give you like a headache. Like some of the other books I have are, uh, you know, are, are readable, but you kind of got to struggle through them. This one, it's, it's so readable. It reads like a, a novel. It reads like a novel. It's so easy to read. It's so approachable, especially, obviously, this, if you're a beginner, this is going to be way over your head. But if you are familiar with, you know, basic techniques, exaltations, domiciles, you know your houses, you know your signs, you know your planets, I think you, I think this is approachable. And again, obviously, it's going to take a lot of practice. This is one of those things where the, the actual technique isn't that difficult. However, the amount of practice you need to put in to get good is going to be long. You're going to need to read several hundred charts and ask several hundred questions, which is great. Now, the best part I like about this style of astrology, the best part I like is it's social media friendly. So I can, I can crank out a five minute reading with this, right? If you do a full natal chart, progressions, transits, that's, that's a long reading. This, I can knock this out in five minutes. I can ask, somebody can ask me a question, I can knock it out in five minutes. And that's going to fit on stuff like, you know, Instagram, right? Or your Facebook Live or, or something like this. So it's very social media friendly. And of course, everybody has a billion questions. They all want questions asked. So it's going to be easy to get that input of more questions, more questions. And if you can crank out a couple of hundred of these and sort of get in that groove, you're, you're, your uh, mastery level is just going to go through the roof very quickly. So I like it because it's quick. It's social media friendly. I love the book that it's so easy to read and it's so approachable. And I like his style of writing. I like that it's not, you know, a, a, a tome that thick. I like that it, you can sort of just knock this out in a few days and then sort of go back and look at the different houses later since they're broken down so easily. So if I have a seventh house question, I can just grab this off the shelf and peruse to the seventh house chapter and sort of, you know, refresh my memory and things like that. Again, highly recommend it. If you were to get one book on this, I would get this or Kent's book. If you're willing to spend 70 bucks, Kent's book is 
has 124 examples. This one, you're going to have to, to, if you want a lot of examples, you're going to have to get his other book, which is another $17 or Kindle Unlimited trial, and you can sort of blow through it. But, but again, um, highly recommended, well, well worth the money. If you're interested in this, I would say this is the one book to get. This is the book that's really going to fill the need for information for this particular time. Anyway, again, I'm Tara Orkel and highly recommended. It was 29 bucks on Amazon. If you like this review, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.